Chapter 3 The Islanders Attack After we left Crespo Island, the Nautilus journeyed on the surface of the sea. I saw 20 of Captain Nemo's men at work. They were from different countries and they spoke in a strange language. Soon we arrived at the Tuomuto Islands. They were coral islands, alive and of many different colours. One day the coral's going to make a new continent here, I said to Nemo. The world doesn't need new continents, said Nemo coldly. It needs new men. December the 25th came, and Ned wasn't happy. He thought about his country, Canada, and his family. He did not want to be at sea on Christmas Day. By the 1st of January, we were near New Guinea. Happy New Year, said Conseil. Captain Nemo wanted to go into the Indian Ocean through the Torres Strait. But the sea was bad and there was lots of coral in front of us. What's Nemo doing? cried Ned. Does he want to kill us? Just then, the Nautilus hit something and stopped. I knew it! cried Ned. An accident, Captain? I asked. It's nothing, Nemo answered. In four days, when the sea goes up more than usual at the end of the month, the Nautilus can be free of the coral. We must wait. He said no more and left. Now we can escape, said Ned excitedly. No, we can't. Not in New Guinea, Ned, I said. We don't want to die far from home. But we've got four days here. Let's visit the island. There are trees there, and animals perhaps. We can get some fruit and meat. Ned's right, said Conseil. Let's ask the captain. Captain Nemo said yes. So, the next day, the three of us went to the island on the Nautilus's boat. When we arrived, Ned said, Give me 25 minutes, and you're going to have the best meat ever. Ned soon found some fruit, but no animals. We ate the fruit and drank some island river water, and the time went by quickly. At five o'clock, we went back to the Nautilus. The next day, we got up early and went to the island again. Ned wanted to kill some birds, but they escaped. I'm better with a harpoon, he cried. Conseil did better, 
and soon killed two birds. We made a fire and ate them. They were very good. Finally, Ned killed some more island animals and we ate those too. He and Conseil were very happy. Why don't we sleep here tonight? said Conseil. Why don't we sleep here every night? <laughs> laughed Ned. Just then, I heard a noise. I looked up and saw 20 angry islanders not far away. We moved very quickly to our boat. But the islanders ran after us. There were more than a hundred of them now. In 20 minutes, we were back on the Nautilus. I ran to speak to Captain Nemo. I found him at his piano. He played it beautifully and did not look up when I came into the room. Captain, I cried. There are hundreds of angry islanders after us. They want to get on the Nautilus. Nemo did not stop playing. He smiled and said, Happily they can't, Doctor. Believe me. Now go to bed and sleep. The next day, we could see 500 angry islanders on the island. We stayed on the Nautilus. Suddenly, Conseil gave a cry, <gasps> and I looked up. There were now 20 or more long boats in the sea not far from our ship. The islanders were ready to attack us. Once more, I ran to Nemo. Dr. Aronnax, he said, don't be afraid. We can close the ship's doors. Nobody can get in then. But what happens when we open the doors to breathe? Then, Doctor, the islanders are free to come in, but not very far, and not for very long, believe me. Go to your room now. Tomorrow, at 2.40 p.m., the Nautilus is going to be free of the coral. Our journey must go on. I went to bed, but I did not sleep well. All night, the islanders walked up and down on the ship, and I could hear their cries. The next afternoon, at 2.35, Captain Nemo opened the doors of the Nautilus. Twenty islanders were there, ready to come down into the ship. I was afraid. Captain, I cried. What can we do? They're going to kill us. Then I stopped suddenly. What a wonderful thing. The islanders 
could not come down into the ship. When they began to do it, they stopped, cried noisily, and ran away afraid. Then I understood. The metal near the doors had electricity in it. When the men put their hands on it, it threw them up out of the ship. By now, it was 2.40, and suddenly the Nautilus moved. Nemo was right. It was the end of the month, and the sea was up now. We were free of the coral. On the 18th of January, the weather was very bad. Captain Nemo looked at something on the sea through his telescope. Suddenly, his face changed, and he spoke quickly to one of his men in their strange language. His face was dark and angry when he said to me, Go to your room at once, doctor, and no questions, please. Ned and Conseil were there when I arrived. Without speaking, we ate dinner, and then we slept. <laughs>